Okay, uh, so let, let me start with uh, greeting your audience and uh, fellow architects and friends and uh, introduce myself. My name is Iraji Amin Esfandiri. I'm one of the uh, many students of uh, Professor Sehun who has been uh, fortunate to continue a cordial and uh, friendly uh, relationship with uh, this great teacher after he left the School of Architecture of University of Tehran through the moment he departed the universe. The organizer of this event asked me to concentrate my discussion on analyzing the architecture of this multifaceted great uh, contemporary Iranian artist. This, uh, this is uh, what I'm intending to do as best I can. Uh, as uh, late Professor Tafuri once said, there is no criticism, all is history. To analyze Professor Sehun's architecture, we need to consider the time and the conditions in which he worked. Then a set of criteria might be laid out to evaluate his works in architecture. At the beginning of his career, Hushang Sehun was one of the few architects in Iran who were familiar with the current movements of the time in architecture by way of his studies in Europe. For example, while in Europe, he had an opportunity to work on noticeable commissions, including the Avic Avicenna Monument and Museum in 1948 at the age of 28. Uh, although uh, he studied architecture in Ecole de Bazaar, excuse my pronunciation, and Bazaar style was modeled on classical antiquities, preserving these idealized forms and passing the style on to future generations. Sehun was a staunch proponent of modern architecture, including Incli uh, inclined toward Bauhaus, the aesthetic of which was influenced by and derived from techniques and materials. That inclination is very evident in the early works of Sehun. For example, his first built design, his own ha house slash office in the center of Tehran, and later his mansion the suburbs of Tehran, then a factory for bottling soft drinks and a cinema in Tehran are all evidence of his advocacy of pure modern architecture like exposed naked materials, exposed structure, and wide use of glass. Professor Sehun traveled vastly in his native land, Iran, to study vernacular architecture of the land that later influenced his architecture uh, in Dolat uh, Abadi uh, residence, one of his latest works in 1969. That influence is clearly visible. However, among his works, five monumental mausoleum, mausoleum projects brought him more fame and recognition. Those five are Avicenna Mausoleum built in 1951, Nader Shah Mausoleum 1959, Omar Khayyam Mausoleum 1962, Kamal al-Mulk Mausoleum 1962, and, recon and reconstruction of Ferdowsi Mausoleum 1968. Although of these five buildings, Avicenna Mausoleum is the most talked about because of its uh, monumental tower resembling the historic tower of Gombad Ghabus in Gorgan, a city northeast of Iran, to, to connect this monument to the history of Avicenna era. Nevertheless, looking through the lenses of modern architecture, Nader Shah Mausoleum is the most modern building of these five. This monument 
speaks with its own modern vocabulary of architecture without borrowing from any other languages. All elements in Nader Shah Masulium harmonically participate to convey movements that are rooted in the spirit of power symbolized in Nader Shah's character and statue. Uh, <clears throat> As we all know, modern architecture introduced time to space by breaking centuries rules of symmetry by applying traces of movements, which is one of the basic modern uh, basics of modern architecture. The uneven height of the entablement above the entrance of Nader Shah Musulium, the unusual short husky pillars that are built at the border of the image of a column or a wall, the slanted pedestal lines up with the statue above flying in the sky. The opening of the memorial hall to the garden behind and using local granite to construct are all the words of language that is fresh even today. After almost half a century, in a sense, the architecture of this building might be characterized in the category of deconstruction because of revolting against established architecture and breezing freshness. That's all I can say at this moment in this short time. Thank you.